Today I'm going to be starting something I should have done a while ago. It's refurb the 18Z calipers that are going to go on the S4. I've been putting this off for ages, but I finally bought some paint. I bought some nice red. I'll show you this. So yeah, I bought some red paint for them because I think that'll look really nice with the silver. Can't be Rembo red. But it's come to the point on the S4 now with the brakes that are on there, the stock S4 brakes and the pads and they are it is grinding its head off so need to get these swapped out need to get these refurbed and get these on the car before i end up running into the back of someone so i'll run down how to take, strip these apart show you what i'm going to use to strip the paint off i think this is powder coat to be honest and the thing that i'm using will get it to this nice level of finish and strip strip down yeah We'll get in there, so I'll quickly show you how to tear these apart and how to pop the pistons out because I'm going to be removing the pistons because I've got a full piston kit for this. This is the caliper before, obviously it's a bit dirty, and this is once I cleaned it all up. What I'd used is, I've just found this on Amazon, I always saw in America you could get a, like an aerospace aerosol can and it would just take anything off, it would take powder off it would take all everything you could think found this i think it was three tins for like 18 pounds or 20 pounds or something so yeah just type in industrial strength paint stripper onto amazon and these will come up and i'll show you the results it's it's great quick rundown on how these work we've got a pin that passes through here and a nut on the other side this is to hold the bracket that keeps the the, the pads in place and keeps them pressed against this groove here so there's this obviously these there's these sort of dowels on each side and then when the pins inside it keeps downward pressure on the pad to keep them in place and then obviously the pistons can work themselves in and out so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the the bolt out of this slide the pin out take these out take the pads out and then we are ready to start stripping the caliper so it's just a 30 mil nut Holding that pin on and then you should just be able to knock that pin through just need to find something that I can give it a tap with it's just a bit of 12 more bar oh yeah there we go clean these up stick some copper grease back on it before it goes back in a bit corroded these it's a bit a bit of a pain to take out when they've been in there that long and obviously with the paint on the inside that never helps this has been paid before on the inside how it should go keep your bits together lock that together and you won't lose it give that a really good clean probably stick that in the Pillow drill with some a Brillo pad or whatever to get that nice and clean back up to a bright steel sort of thing, bright brush finished. Also, I'm going to clean this up, give them a coat of a black paint. Like I say, once they're out, you can just pull the pads out. These pads have barely seen any sort of wear or anything. There's loads of life left in these, hence why I'm putting these on and not buying new pads. Plus, I've been wanting to do the upgrade for ages. Two pairs of good pads there, ready to go. And then yeah, let's get these ready to strip. Now I'm gonna pop the pistons out and I'll show you how to do that with an airline. And then once the pistons are out, I'll show you, you know, the assembly of the pistons and stuff. And yeah, that's that. Look massive there though, don't they? Look at the size of them things. Big boys then. So I'm just gonna use a bit of wood to put in the middle of it. So I'm just gonna mark where I need to cut that is there so that way it's going to go inside because i don't want the pistons to fly out if you can't play the saw then you're doing it wrong enough yeah so once you've uh, once you've cut your piece of timber you're gonna be putting it hold it roughly center and put your airline 
There we go. Like that. And like I was saying, just want something to be able to catch the piston on the inside, see? And then same for the other side. The last one to come out now. fingers in this when they do come out they come out pretty strong there we go you have to come out little by little if you can otherwise <coughs> it can be a bit of a pain and there we go she's out advise you wear gloves when you're doing this because as you can see, there is a lot of brake fluid in these still. And there we go. Right, right. All these are made up of is there's a dust shield for the for the piston. Not on the floor. So there's a dust shield that sits on the inside of these that they'll, they'll house onto that pushes into the recess. There's like a recessed hole here. I'll get a better close-ups after. Pop into this recess of the piston, which is just there. Once it's in, it lies flat, and then obviously when the piston comes out, it's got something to shield the dust from getting into there, contaminated with any sort of dirt, and nothing scores along the, the lining of the piston. Get all these stripped down. Show you how well that cleaner works. I've just got an old, like, two litre tub that I've cut up. I'm gonna take all the accessories out after, but I'll just do the main bit of stripping first. But yeah, I think this is powder, I'm not sure. So we have our nice little setup here, a little bucket just to catch it. All you wanna do is just spray it, really, just spray it on. already see it working on that on the red paint there just even when I spray it I was just from 2k and it's just absolutely obliterated that this stuff is very strong and like I say I think this is powder coat I'll be honest yeah it's a good stripper Is that to do its thing and uh, yeah, I'll get a bit closer and you can watch it bubble away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask off these holes now so that way no paint can get on the inside of this. It doesn't have to be the neatest because obviously the brake pad hides behind this but as nice as we can get it um, covering this hole. It's not so much the outer hole because the seal can sit in there but it'll make it a bit of a tighter fit. It's just this inner inner section here that you've got to be more worried about. Don't want any paint on the inside where the piston travels up and down. So keep that surface clean and you'll have no problems with these brakes. Whilst I've been masking off the other set of calipers, just give it another coat. As you can see it's starting to flake off. I'll rub it over with a wire brush after I've masked off the next caliper, give them a rinse and then see where I'm up to. And then yeah, just keep repeating until I've got them to the same, same position as this. Just masking these off now.
So that is both sides of the pistons all covered up, ready for some paint. It's that simple, just take your time. And then let's get the other bit stripped. The last time I did power wash it and took the, the stuff home with me, which was a, a lot better. Still a bit inside here, so I'm just gonna pass over with this die grinder now and just get rid of all the excess bits. And then, yeah, we should be ready to prime them. Oh, well, mask off, prime. They'll need heating up a little bit, these to get all the water out that I've put in them, so give them a little bath in water. And then, yeah, ready for priming. Lighting's pretty poor in here when it gets pretty late. I'm gonna take them upstairs to paint because I don't wanna make a mess down here and overspray on the stuff that's down here. My van's still here and obviously I'm painting red and my TT and stuff's down here that's not got any cover on it. So I'm gonna take them upstairs. Uh, I'm trying to film as much as I can up there, but as you can see, there's just that light there. I've got other lights, but it's late and what time is it? Let's have a look. Time is it? Yeah, it's fucking... It's half nine already and I'll be honest, I want to go on myself. Throw some primer on this, let that flash off quickly, mix some base whilst we're waiting, and then, yeah, just throw it on and put a couple of coats on it. It's a bit dark up here, so I've got them all hung up, and I'll be able to give them a twist, do the fronts, and then let it rest, and then get all underneath. I've got my gun mixed up with some primer in. Try and film a little bit as I'm doing it. That's it all primed up. So this is the red I've gone with. It's a Skoda LP3H, I think. Just looked it in the swatch book and thought, that looks really red, I'll go for that. Thank you. 
It's the next day now. Sprayed these last night, it was dark up here. They've come out really well. It's the first time I'm seeing them. Zooming in every time, I switch the camera. They were a little bit soft when I came back, so I've just got the diesel heater on them. Just giving them a quick blast and then I'll let them cool down and hopefully that should cure the paint a bit better. it demasked and then we just gotta get use some assembly lube on the pistons put the seals back inside because there's a seal that runs on the inside of these the old ones are still in there forgot to pop them out so the seal inside there i'm gonna pop them out and then put some new seals in which are these the inner seals let's get a light there we go that seal there and then you've got your dust shield that goes on top of the piston. But yeah, I'll run through the assembly process. I'm just gonna rip them seals out. Cause I think I've done one and this, this is the one that I stripped last night and I forgot to pull the seals out. One seal, two seal, three seal. One seal, two seal, that's easy enough. They're in size order, so it goes small, medium, large. It might be better to do this way at first. If you can see the piston a little bit better, just put your seals in order. Just work out your sizing, get your sizes together. So they're the big ones. They're the second smallest, and then they're the smallest. Put them in order, get them in. Don't need any grease or anything for these, just a bit of patience is what you need. Just double check sizing with your old, old units, so that's fine. Just work it in, make sure that's simple. Try not to fold it, make sure it stays flat. Slip one seal in, next one in, no creases, next one again. Put the dust shield on first, make sure it's situated properly, pull it down, all the way down like so. So if you just give it a pull down, it'll put it on and then it'll pop back up. And then that is how you'll want to fit this. Add some of the assembly lube that they, they give you. It's got to be compatible with dot four brake fluid or dot three or dot five. So we'll just open this up, pop it on, slide that in there because like I say it's a bit tight, push it in and then push the seal. Coat your piston a little bit with some assembly lube. Doesn't need a lot. Push the seal in and that's it done. Same again. There we go. Give it a pull. Make sure it's all sealed. Popped it up. Sits flush. Some assembly lube. Put a tiny little bit on there. Work it around and then in we go. Give it a good push. Last one. Again, work it on, pull, up, flush, dust shield seated, assembly lube, around, give it a nice little coat, and in you go. And there we go. So we go, that's the uh, big stoppers painted, put together, seals in, pistons in, everything's back, put back together now. Just gonna jack up the car, whip the old brakes off, and then throw these on. And I'll quickly pull out my other, the new discs as well. I'll show you how big these are. These are the big boys, to be fair. 
a nice update to the uh, to the old car will stop. Thankfully, that's what we want to do. It's the goal of breaking it, to be honest. So I've just propped one of these up, but it balanced. Look how good that looks. Needs a logo on there now. Might just get Brembo logos. Just looks like some eBay cheap jobby. Just went for some steel ones from M Tech for a quick little overnight overhaul. Very happy with them. Let's get them on. Hopefully they fit. I've got Team Dynamics on. I think they should fit. If they don't, don't know what I'm doing today. Grind. So with the 18 Zs to convert it for the B5, you just have to stick these brass sort of spacers in to allow for the bolts so there's no place to make it a tight fit. All you have to do is just tap them in. Should have done, you could do it before I painted it, but it go in easy enough with the paint there. Just want to flush, like they do. Just do that for both sides. That's all you need for the conversion.